Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do a planner a planner lineup um, because I do have a journal in here as well. You're going to hear my dog's clicky toenails in the back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is like a planner, journal, memory keeper, like just every book I am using this year. And let's, maybe we'll start with the easy ones first. Uh, yeah, let's start with the easy ones first. Okay, so these are my memory journals. So I do a picture a day. This is actually an old planner that I was using and I stopped using it in December of 2020. So I have January through June of 2022 in here. Obviously it would have been 2021. I redated it to fit 2022 because it was a Sunday start. But when you put it to a Monday start, all the dates were correct. So that'll be the first half of the year. And that way I can use up a planner that I didn't finish. And then I actually made myself a planner um, for my memory keeping. It's really, really thin, as you can see. So when I add my pictures, it bulks up quite a bit. And I have to use bands around them, and I don't like that. So made it a little bit thinner. It's only six... Oh, no. No, no. I went to July of 2023, I guess. So I just made this, I put this together, I put date covers in anyways. So those are my memory keepers and this will take me to July of 2023, but I wanted to show you guys cause it's 2022. So these are my picture a day books. This is my tarot journal. So I've been trying to do a tarot pull a day. I'm a little bit behind. I didn't do any this week. I didn't even date this week and I didn't date last week. I've uh, been having a hard time. I guess I haven't filled out. Yeah, I haven't filled anything out in a couple weeks. I've just been really tired in the morning and that's usually when I do my tarot draw. And then on Sundays I do um, my interpretations and things. So I haven't been doing that. So this is just a Lloyd's term 1917. It's got grid in it. These are the widths of a Hobonichi cousin and it's in my Hobonichi cousin cover that I love, my Petite Fleur. And, oh, and there's my pen I've been looking for everywhere. Goodness gracious, we're gonna switch that out. All right, so yeah, so that's my tarot journal. Pretty simple, just a simple journal. That'll probably last me quite a while since I haven't been doing my readings. Um, I haven't been keeping up with them, so. This is my journal. I originally set it up as a planner, so it's got all of my regular pages that I have. I only set it up for six months, and then I just kind of left it. I have some notes from my BE Women's Conference, and then the rest of it will just be uh, journaling. It's undated. I'm going to see how that goes for me. I've been enjoying the undated right now. I haven't, or I've been enjoying the dated because I'm doing journaling right now in a Hobonichi A6 original. Um, I've been enjoying that, but for the past five days or six days, I haven't been journaling because I've just been so tired. So I don't super enjoy that, but this is just in one of my Hobonichi A6 covers. And this is that CD notebook. It's that red one that I've showed you guys a couple times on Instagram. Uh, I will link it down below. I got mine from Jet Pens. It's got really super buttery smooth paper. I haven't tested my fountain pen on it and I'm just hoping that it will work. Stamping didn't bleed through, so I'm hoping. So that is my journal. I think it'll last me three months because it's only got 96 pages, even though it's pretty thick. So I think it'll last me until about March. And then I will decide if I want to continue in A6 journaling or if I want to go to A5. So journal, regular journal. Um, and then I have, then I have my hard decision. So you guys saw me unbox my Kinbor Weekly Planner, kind of like a Hobonichi Weeks. And I moved into it a couple weeks ago, set up a December weekly or monthly, and then set up some weeks. And I was in it for two weeks, I guess. And then I've been memory planning in this A5 journal. And I just got a intense desire to go back into a Hobonichi cousin with the hours. 
And this happens to me every once in a while. I kind of skip back and forth from my weeks to my cousin. And back. So there's that. So this week I set up and I was like, I really would like to just like take this with me. And like have a plan. So I have my Kimbore weeks. I will probably skip back and forth from this to this which is a notebook from the dollar store just a line notebook it's in my so this cover i made myself this cover is from imperfectly perfect it's the hand of fate design and antiqued with blue stitching and blue edges so this is literally just a lined notebook i think i paid two dollars for it and I made myself inserts. I was originally going to put it on a coil because I do enjoy a coil. I like to be able to fold my book over. Um, but then I stuck it in some notebook pages and I really enjoyed that. And it's quite thick, like it makes the paper quite thick, like my notebook therapy one, which is like 120 or 160 GSM. It's pretty, it's pretty substantial. So made myself a, Dece a December monthly, a January monthly, and a February monthly, and I have more that I'm going to add, and I just left enough room for um, until July, I think, so I can do some future planning, and then I left this page blank so I can do um, a kit tracker because I'm using stickers in this. So this is a Hobonichi cousin layout. I asked you guys over on Instagram if you would like me to put these inserts up on a Google Drive for you guys. I had a couple people say yes, so you can let me know down below if you would like that too, and I'll actually post the link to like a description maybe of this video. So I don't have any blank ones, so I have this week, this week here where I'm filming this on a Friday. Um, I have Christmas week in here. I have New Year's week in here. These are all Paper Crown planner kits. I will link a video uh, how I resize my Erin Condren kits to fit the Hobonichi Cousin. These are the exact dimensions, the exact um, grid spacing. This thing is the same. Like all of these things are the same thing as the Hobonichi Cousin. I just didn't order myself one. And honestly, I don't like the way stickers feel on the on the Tomo River paper. Like if you're gonna use Tomo River paper, like you should be using like a fountain pen and things like not stickers. It makes the pages really stiff. So I like that this is like a little bit thicker. This is the first full week of January, uh, the second full week of January. And then I don't have any more weeks in here. I need to cut them a little bit smaller to put them in this notebook. But yeah, so this is how I set up my cousin when I was using it in September of 2020, when I went back to school. And I used it until December-ish, my grandfather passed away and I lost all my love for everything basically for quite a while and um, I fell off of all the things that I loved which I'm looking back at it now and it sucks because my grandfather would have wanted me to just keep living my life and keep doing the things that I enjoy and I, I don't like that I did that to myself, but that is, sorry, that's not what this video is about. So I have this. I haven't decided if I'll just order a Hobonichi Cousin in March. I'm waiting right now to hear about a job offer. So I'm thinking about like a teacher planner, what kind of lesson planner I need. I'm looking at a plum paper right now. And I'm still waiting for my Kinbor A5 that's coming from AliExpress. I was thinking about using the Cousin for lesson planning, like doing my weekly plan, my personal plan, and then using the dailies. And even this Kinbor that's coming, I was thinking about using that as a lesson planner because I could split up the columns into um, five because I have five periods. And actually, I could just write what I'm doing like in the hours. So I don't know, like I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I'm kind of like looking at a plum paper planner. I'm looking at a Lime Life planner. Um, I don't think I'll go with an Erin Condren because they're eight by 10, they're quite large. And in the Lime Life and the plum paper, you can get 
a 7x9, which is the regular size. It's this size, so it's not super large. It's not super duper huge. That will be added to my lineup as well, probably a teacher planner. And yeah, so these are my two main planners. I won't be using them at the same time. I will probably actually jot down appointments in this. And when I go to plan this week with stickers, like I'll probably be looking at this, but yeah, these are my two main planners. I have, a two, I have two memory planners, but technically just one system for my memory planner. It's just a, a seven by nine that I put stickers in, a tarot journal and a daily journal. So uh, because I'm doing sticker planning in this, I probably won't be doing it in this. I haven't decided yet have not decided but for right now I think I'm just gonna do this and especially since Christmas is coming up that's kind of why I have because usually I wouldn't plan this far in advance but that's why I have especially these two weeks planned out and then the first few weeks of January laid down already like the base laid down because I just know this week will not be restful I think I think the first week of January will be restful. I might try to make it restful, but um, this week we'll be running around, like especially on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. So, you know. And they switched our last day. It was supposed to be Thursday, we had a half day. They switched it to Tuesday, and actually the day I'm filming this on the 17th, the grade sixes were done today. So the sevens and eights have to go on Monday and Tuesday and um, then we'll be done. So, so yeah, so I'm gonna glue in some more weeklies in here for myself, and I, I probably will only go to March, like I'll probably put just February and March in and then put a budget in the back because this thing that I've been doing with my paychecks is not working. I've been writing the paycheck up at the front, the bills, and then marking down like what we spend on, and I'm just not, I'm not loving it. So I think I'm gonna go back to like, a monthly spread and just writing out every day what we spend kind of thing and then I'll decide uh, when March comes around if I want a cousin if I'm even still in this like obviously I switch quite a bit between like four different types of planners I switch between like my cousin a week's a bullet journal um, and every once in a while I'll set up my ring planner for like maybe a week but that never lasts so it seems to be the weeks and the cousin that lasts the longest so we're gonna try these things I'm gonna see how I like that Kinbor A5 that comes in and yeah we'll just see as always like I keep the right to to switch and not have to explain myself like you guys know this like if I wasn't on YouTube or Instagram, obviously I wouldn't have to give that disclaimer, but I do want you guys to know that I switch. Like, I switch my planners. I do not stick with one. I get bored. I get bored. I get sick of stickers and I want simple. I get sick of sim simple and I want stickers. Like, I want an outlet. So, this is what I am using. Rate meow. I am enjoying it. I'm going to enjoy these new things. That I'm bringing in I'm gonna enjoy a fresh new journal because mine's starting to get a little bulky so there it is guys that is my 2022 planner journal book lineup I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon probably with uh, an update and then a Kinbor unboxing an AliExpress unboxing all right guys have a good one bye mm -hmm.